Hello and welcome to Learn Stage Now with Zebra Knowledge Centre. This series covers everything you need to know to stage Zebra mobile computers efficiently, productively and effortlessly using our Stage Now tool. In this episode, you will learn how to connect and deploy an application on your device using Stage Now. If you're new to Stage Now, be sure to check out our Stage Now overview and Stage Now Essentials videos. They're very short, but contain important information you want to know when working with Stage Now. OK, let's begin. Here's a heads up of what is covered and how it's covered. Overall, it should take no more than 15 minutes to go through all of it. We'll start with the diagram and then move to the tool itself. Let's go! Before moving on, let's quickly review the two key StageNow workflows, configuration and deployment. The first one is the configuration workflow. Do you remember the key points? Where is all the data encoded? Do you need StageNow running on your workstation? Can it work fully offline? In this mode, all data is in the barcode, tag, so you don't need StageNow running. It works fully offline, but the amount of data is fairly low, so it's suitable mainly for simple operations. The second workflow, which we've learned in the last episode, is the deployment workflow. What is encoded in the tag barcode now? How are apps and files delivered to device? Do you need stage now running? What if your workstation has obtained a different IP address over DHCP now? Do you have limitations on the size of the data now? Can you push multiple files in the same profile? In this mode, the barcode tag contains only a reference to the data and IP address of stage now. The actual data is downloaded from the built-in server that runs whenever stage now runs. So you need to have stage now running on your machine and IP connectivity to it. If the stage now machine obtains a different IP address, you might have to regenerate the barcode tag sheet. This way, you can transfer lots of data in multiple files. Which mode is better? while most of the more functional stage now wizards use both. Now that we've refreshed the workloads, let's see how they're implemented in the actual profiles and wizards. Check out the top menu ribbon. The stage now config and RD config sections are configuration. Any setting that is put here will be directly encoded in the barcode. The deployment section is respectively deployment. Any setting that is put here will be downloaded. This is important to remember so that you can quickly understand whether the profile you're viewing requires online operation. It also helps you to better design your advanced free flow profiles in the expert mode. Here's what we'll do in this episode. Last time we created a profile using the Manage Applications wizard that deployed Enterprise Home Screen EHS to our device. But there was a shortcoming. It did not set up EHS as default launcher. We could have addressed that by selecting a wizard that can do everything, such as configure device. But instead, we'll use expert mode to build our own free flow sequence. This will enable you to harness any kind of deployment you may require provided it's supported by stage now. This time we will recreate the sequence in expert mode, adding new steps highlighted red on the right. Also note that many of the settings we created last time were saved for future reuse, so we don't need to recreate them from scratch. This saves a lot of time. So let's do it. Here's the stage now home screen already in admin mode. Let us first go to the all settings screen and see what settings we have available. We have all the WLAN settings we need. EHS download, install, config and run settings and a reboot one. We will note the type of settings, Wi-Fi, file MGR, app MGR etc. 
so that we can quickly find them later in expert mode. Now let's create a new profile in expert mode called EHS Expert. Now we're in the expert mode screen. We have two sections. One has settings and wizard to choose from. The other represents your flow with the config and deploy sections respectively. One word about wizards. You may notice that there are more wizards here than in the create profile menu. That doesn't mean we're hiding something from you though. These are the mini wizards that the big wizards are made from. So you can use them when you want to. But we will use settings for now. For an out-of-box device, the only way to configure WLAN is to embed the settings in the barcode sheet. So we need to use the configuration workflow. The workflow for our WLAN configuration was disable all WLANs, create a new one, connect to it. So that's three steps which we already have from the previous episodes. So we'll just put them back in. All settings were of Wi-Fi type, so let's select Wi-Fi and click the plus sign three times to add the steps to our config section. Now that we're done with the config section, Let's move on to the deployment part. At this stage, it's important that we remember to click on the Deploy tab. Otherwise, all our settings will be located in the config part of the workflow, and this can cause errors further down the line. Let's fill it with settings according to our plan. We'll select File MGR for Download EHS APK, App MGR for Install EHS APK, file MGR for download EHS config, and we'll need an intent to launch the APK. In addition, we'll need another file MGR step to delete the EHS APK, app MGR to set EHS's default launcher, and lastly power MGR for the reboot. Note that you can click the arrows to change the order of the settings. Now let's hit add and fill those settings with details. Now we're back to the config part of the workflow. Because we have all those settings saved, the process is really quick. Note, the green add edit button. It allows you to go back and change the flow if needed. First, we need to disable all WLANs. Then create a new one, and then connect to it. And that's the config part done. Moving on to the deployment section, this part should be familiar. Note that this time you don't have to remember settings types, just choose the right safe settings. So here we'll choose EHS Download APK. Here the EHS install, here the EHS config download, and here EHS run. Next we want to create a new setting to delete the APK. Type file MGR giving it the name of the APK file, which we have put onto the SD card ourselves. Then we'll create a setting to set EHS as default launcher using the app MGR setting. I learned that searching the built-in help for launcher. Let's save it for the future as well. Action, set as default launcher. Package, EHS package name, which I found in the EHS documentation. Continue. Finally, we'll create a setting to reboot the device. Type Power MGR. Save it for the future. And that's it. No more deployment steps in this profile. Let's review. 
test and publish our profile. Everything should work great. One last thing before we finish. Let's say that a PSK has changed for a wireless LAN that is used in many profiles. All of those profiles now need to be edited for this tiny change. Good thing you save that setting for future reuse. Now you can go to the All Settings screen and edit just this setting alone. Note you must save a setting for reuse to see it here. For each setting you can see which profiles are using it and edit it. You might need to unpublish the profiles using this setting first for safety and data integrity. It is advised to test each profile before republishing it again. Note that this is the place where you can also create settings independently. OK, that's all you need to learn about Stage Now, really. Take your time exploring the various settings, and as a small homework challenge, try creating a profile that will remove EHS along with its APK, config, and log files from the device. OK, that was it. Now let's play a game that will help you check what you've learned. You will see a question pop up. Pause the video and think about an answer. Then unpause and check. Let's see how many of them you can get right. Let's go! This was the last one. Hope you did well. Congratulations and thank you for watching this video. You are now fully in control of Stage Now and can do pretty much everything that is supported. Other videos will cover specific use cases, settings, and very advanced aspects of Stage Now.